I flagged would happen days ago, reports are in the Australian today too that the PM's big purchase has reignited talk inside the government about breaking yet another election promise. This time, Labor's commitment not to touch negative gearing or the capital gains tax discount. Now, MPs reckon they've got no choice but to tackle these policies because they say after this beach house buy, they're on the back foot with the Greens in particular and have to be seen to do more to tackle the housing crisis. We have to do more on housing, said one Labor MP. The answer is it's tax changes. So because he's splashed out four and a half million dollars on a house, you'll end up losing the tax break on your one bedroom flat that's your retirement nest egg. Now don't mind the PM, don't forget he's still in the old super scheme. In addition to all this property, he'll retire with 300,000 a year for life and you're hit again to pay for his big budget debt. Now it's not fair, is it? But Labor moving to scrap negative gearing is about the only plausible explanation for the Prime Minister's rush to buy now against all the advice of colleagues and staff and at this most politically awkward time. Now, as I read it, he's got insider knowledge that negative gearing changes are on the way, so he's selling now and buying now to avoid getting caught. Now, if it does turn out that these changes come in and that, as reported, existing properties, existing properties turn out to be grandfathered, this prime ministerial purchase won't just look tone deaf, it'll look absolutely dodgy as well.